Modding session is a very easy process and all the links you're going to need are going to be in the description of this video. The first thing we're going to do is download the session mod manager. The link in the description will take you to this page right here. We go down to assets and then click on session mod manager and it should download the zip folder. You're going to need a program that opens zip folders. So you're going to need either WinRAR or 7-zip. Next, we're going to need the illusory mod patcher. So go to this website and then go all the way down to the bottom and then click installer. And it should open up this page. So then we go over to download. And if anything pops up saying it's a virus, don't worry, it is not a virus. Now that we downloaded both the files we need, we can go and install them. First, you're going to need to know where the location of the game is. So an easy way to find that is to go to Steam, go to library, go to session, and then right click on it and then go to properties. When it opens this tab right here, go to local files and then go over to browse. It should bring up the exact folder that session is located in. And if you have session on Epic instead of Steam, modding is going to be the exact same process. I don't have session on Epic, but all you have to do is just locate the game file, which I think by default is in your program files under Epic Games. But there is a slight difference. So if you have Session on Epic, you are always going to launch Session from the Epic Launcher. You are not going to load Session from the Mod Manager by clicking Start Session, so don't click this. You will still have to click Load Map if you want to change your map, but don't click Start Session. You have to load Session from the Epic Launcher. Otherwise, your game will crash. So now that we have the game folder open, I'm just going to drag both of these files into this one just to keep everything organized. We're going to right click this zip folder, and then we're going to go to to extract here. Session mod manager folder should be created. Now we're going to open the Unreal mod unlocker, but if this message pops up to you, just click on more info and then go to run anyway. We're going to click on open and then it should bring up this window. Go back to the session folder and then go to session game binaries win64 and then copy this location at the top bar. So once you have that location copied, go back over to the window that the illusory patcher opened and then go to this top bar and then paste it into this location. Click enter and it should bring you right there and then go to select folder. So now we click patch and if you're doing this for the very first time, it should pop up with this and you want to click OK. And the game is now patched for modding. You have to patch the game with the most up to date illusory mod unlocker. So don't click on patch with illusory mod unlocker in the bottom corner of session mod manager because that is outdated. So we can close the unlocker and then go back to where you had your session mod manager. Open this folder and then go down to where it says session mod manager.exe and then open that. Now, just to make sure the mod manager is set to modding the right path, go back to your session folder again and then copy this top bar once again and then go over to here and then just make sure that it's the exact same. So you want this location and this location right here to be the exact same. And you should be all set to mod the game now. Now I'm going to show you how to install new maps and there's two different ways you can do this. The first way is using the session mod manager. Click on this little shop icon right here and then you want to have maps selected. So this is going to show you all the available maps in the mod manager right now. So let's just find a map that we want to install. Let's just go to easy day high. And then in the bottom right corner, you want to click install map and it should be installing. However, if you get this failed to download easy day high Google Drive exceeded quota thing, method number two of installing is how you're going to fix that. That doesn't always happen. So like we can just uh, click on this and it should be downloaded. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't download. So it successfully installed LA Courthouse. We can go back to this little home thing right here and LA Courthouse is right there. Now all we have to do is just make sure that this is highlighted and then we just click on load map. Once it's loaded, you just go to start session. If you're modding the game for the first time, this might pop up for you. It just means that the unlocker needs to make a new settings file. So just click OK. Click start session again and it should bring up the game. Now if you don't load into the map that you chose and you load into one of the vanilla maps, all you do, pause the game, go to to select map and then go to somewhere in Brooklyn and you should load right up into your custom map so you can now play a map that's in skater XL now going back to this error right here the quota exceeded error method number two of installing maps and mods require you to go to the illusory discord so once you're in this discord go all the way down to where it says session mods do not download anything from where it says session mod archive because they're from older builds and will not work so under session mods you're going to go down to map releases and then you can just find whatever map that you want we're just going to download the latest one right here. So we're going to get Carlsbad and click on this. It should open this page. And we're going to click on download and then click on download anyway. So now that we have our Carlsbad zip folder, we just want to open the session mod manager again. Click on this little house and then go to import map. Now all you do is just drag this folder into this path right here and then 
just click import map and it should pop up right there. If not, just go to reload available maps and uh, anything that's available will pop up. So now we can click on load map and then start session. And we just spawn in on the grass. Now, one thing you might notice is when you pause the game and try to go to select map, you can't do anything. You can't go anywhere. So the way that you have to change your map is you have to go back to the apartment and then you're going to go to go skate and then you're going to choose your map from here. Your custom maps will not show up in here, but like I know that anytime I go to somewhere in like Chatham Tower, so like if I go here, it's going to bring me back to this map right here that I loaded in. But if I go to somewhere like Highline Bridge, it's going to bring me to a completely different map. And then if you're in a non-custom map, you can just go to select map from here again. Your custom maps are always going to be in New York City and they're going to be in the main map. But just keep in mind that anytime you go to the Brooklyn Banks map or like anywhere in like the main map, it's going to bring you back to your custom one. Now there is a way to change your map without closing the game every time. So you can just go back to the apartment. And then while you're in the apartment, you can open the mod manager and then you can change your map. So I'm just going to change it back to this one. And you don't have to click start session. All you have to do is just minimize it, go back to your game and then go back to go skate and then we just choose anywhere from like the main map and it should bring us right to LA Courthouse. All right, now I'm going to show you how to install boards, clothing, new characters, all that other stuff. Let's go with the classic World Industries board. So we're just going to click install deck. Now, sometimes the description or picture will tell you which board it replaces. However, they don't always tell you which ones they replace. So you have to find them in the shop. If you want to remove a mod that you installed, all you do is just select it and then you can click on this garbage can right here and it'll get rid of it. Or on the categories page, you could just go to the bottom corner and go to remove pants. And the same kind of thing for removing maps. You can just right click on it and then go delete selected map. And just like the maps, we can install the mods from the Discord. So I'm just gonna go to a random board here. We'll do this hookups one, why not? And then we're gonna go to continue to download. Click on download anyway. Now that you have the zip folder, you go back to the mod manager and make sure this tab is selected and then drag the zip folder up to the top bar and then just click import. Now it's not showing a preview here, but it is installed if you see it in here. I do recommend installing mods one at a time and then loading up the game and then checking to see if it works because it could cause some issues. So if you download and install all of these at the same time and then you load up and get an error, you're going to have to figure out which one caused the error. But once you get everything all installed, just go to start session. Okay, so we got our mods installed and now we just need to go to the skate shop to buy them. Yeah, I know. You got to buy your mods that you installed. Why is your crotch glowing? So once you buy it in the shop, you can equip it and then you have it on your character. So our guy's looking pretty good right now. Now that you know how to mod the game, I have some mod recommendations. But this definitely definitely requires discord here. So in the illusory discord under session mods, we're going to go down to blueprints and then we're going to scroll up until we find Chewy's BP loader. So just click to open this screen right here. And then we're going to go over to download. Once you have the BP mod loader downloaded, you just go back to your session mod manager, go down to this tab right here, and then just drag this folder into there and then click import. You should see BP mod loader right there. Now we can go back to the mod manager and then go down to the little shop here and then click on meshes to show the meshes. Now go to TDV mod loader and then click install mesh. And again, if you get this little quota exceeded error, go back to the illusory discord and then go to object dropper mods and then scroll up and you should be able to find the mod loader right there. Go down to this tab right here and then drag that folder that you just downloaded into there and then click import. I'll try to install the pin dropper from here and see if it'll work. Okay, so this time it didn't work. I thought it was going to work. So back to illusory we go. We got the pin dropper. We just download it. Drag and drop the zip folder and then click import. And then the last one we're going to download is the RMS loader. So at this point right now, you should have BP mod loader and then TDV mod loader. Those two are the most important ones. And then this one right here, the pin dropper, it's exactly what you think it is from Skater XL. And then the RMS loader, which I'll explain right now, because we're about to install one of the best mods that's a little bit hard to find right now. So I'll leave a link for it in the description. You click download, download anyway, and you're going to want to install the RMS tool exactly how you would for a map. So go to import map and then drag this folder into here. Let it download and it should be done now. There we go. Now keep in mind this RMS tool will mess with the missions. So if you're doing the story missions, do not install this until you're done because it'll make the missions go away. If you did already install it, you can just go to the bottom right here in your mod manager and then just click this X right here and then click start session. But do not have this installed when you're doing the story missions. Otherwise, you will not be able to do any of them. All right. So we're in easy day high, but it kind of looks a little bit empty, right? With the RMS tool, if we hold the right stick and then click the left stick in, 
brings up this. It's currently fall, so let's uh, let's make it fall. Let's intensify this. There we go. We got some leaves falling from the sky. Now this one right here, NPC tool. We can create our own NPCs and we can place them anywhere we want. We can stop. Oh, geez, his face. Some of the characters be looking creepy, but uh, some of them aren't. So you can style them however you want and then you can have whatever animation that you want here. So if we want them to like sit down. So these guys right now are just sitting here chilling. They, uh, they have animation and then this camera guy will actually follow you whatever you do. Let's get a quick little nolly front nose here, why not? And then we can go into the replay editor because they show up in the replay editor. And this guy's gonna try to film you to the best of his ability. He did pretty good, he didn't do so bad. He, he started off frame and then got you in the frame. Not only can you set up NPCs just sitting around or just like actually talking, like moving their hands as if they're like talking to somebody. If you go to NPC type and change it to moving, you can actually set them to be moving. So I want this guy to walk this way and and then walk this way. We can have different styles of walking. So we can have him walk in like that. We can have him sad. Let's have him skate. So just press Y or triangle to spawn in. And then there we go. So look at him go. He's just skating. And then he's going to go to your path. You can you can set the paths a little bit better so it looks more natural. And you can see him in the replay editor too. And if you want to save all the NPCs that you put down for this specific map, you can just click save current NPCs. And then anytime you load back into this map, you can load NPCs for it. We have a time tool so we can actually slow down our skating in real time. We can get a kickflip double click and then it's going to be slow motion bam and then we have the photo tool which makes taking photos a lot better but i'll go over all of these in another video now for the pin dropper that we installed to use the pin dropper all you do is just hold right bumper and then double tap the right stick there we go we got the uh, pin dropper and we can go anywhere we want so if we want to spawn over here we just hold right bumper again then double click and then there we go we spawned in however that is not going to be our new session marker so it's you're going to have to set a new session marker in the location that you drop to all right that is going to do it for for this video on how to mod session if you have any questions or issues feel free to ask it in the comments but if there's a pinned comment make sure you check that first because your question could already be answered and i will catch you in the next video